Welcome to the SysTools Mail Examiner version 4.8.5 features and functionality video series. In this video, we will demonstrate how you can create a new case in Mail Examiner and we will cover the case processing options. When we launch the Mail Examiner program, the first window that we see is the case window. Here you have the option to open an existing case or start a new one. We are creating a new case, so we will click the Create a New Case option. Next, we see the New Case window. In the Title window, we can give our case a name. Next, we have the Case Directory. Here, we can browse to a location to store the created case. The next window is the Case Description window. Here, we can add a brief description of the matter, and this information will also show up in the final report when we generate it. Next is the Keyword List window. At case creation, Mail Examiner allows keywords to be added prior to processing. When the case is finished processing, these words will have been searched and will be immediately accessible for analysis in the search window. Next, we have the option to add a keyword list. This is the same as manually adding keywords, but here you can add a CSV file containing a list of multiple keywords. Next, we see the More button at the bottom of the New Case window. In this section, we can add the investigator information. When we are finished creating the case, we can click Add and we will see a message that says the case was added successfully. When we click OK, the next window that we see is the Settings window. Here is where we can determine what actions will be performed on the evidence during processing. First on the Processing Options tab, we see Link Analysis and Reporting. Checking the Link Analysis and Reporting box will allow you to perform user and domain link analysis. Mail Examiner will generate link graphs and store them in the case directory. This graph data structure is used in the analytics section to get information such as the number of mail sent and received as well as Skype activity. If you uncheck this option, you will not be able to perform link analysis or generate a timeline. Next is the Read Calendar While Processing option. If you are interested in seeing, searching, and working with calendar entries, check this box. This will allow you to preview and analyze the calendars of Outlook PST files, OST files, Exchange EDB mailboxes, and Lotus Notes NSF files. You can examine the meetings and appointments of the target users and report on them as needed. Leaving it unchecked will completely omit calendars from your case. Next, we see the Only Document option. This relates to processing image files, such as an E01 or a raw image. If you check this option and you are adding an image container, Mail Examiner will process the container without expanding and processing file types such as PSTs, Skype databases, or any compressed file. If you leave it unchecked and are processing an image container, Mail Examiner will then identify the supported containers and databases by extension and process them in the case. Next is Performance Tuning. Performance Tuning allows for some customization based on your machine's configuration. This has to do with the number of evidence files that you can ingest into the tool at one time. As an example, on a machine with 4 GB of RAM running an i3 processor, it is recommended that you set the concurrency level to 2. You can check your local computer's resources by right-clicking on My Computer from the Start button and going to Properties. If you have a higher configuration, you can increase the concurrency level to speed up processing time when you are working with multiple pieces of evidence. Next is the index settings. In this section, you can choose what to index or not. Until you are comfortable with these settings, it is recommended to select all of them. When you click the More button, you will have the option to exclude specific items from the index. Next is the hash settings. You can generate either an MD5 or a SHA-1 hash, or choose both to get the hashes for all the file items. Clicking More will allow you to choose additional metadata items to hash as well. The last option is Calculate Hash on Source File. When Mail Examiner processes various file items, it will generate hashes for different components of the email. By checking this option, Mail Examiner will generate a hash of the file that combines all of the components so the individual message can be identified by one hash. Once we have completed the customization of the settings, you can click the Never Show This window again, and when you click Save, your case settings will be saved case to case. 
This concludes this SysTools Mail Examiner features and functionality video. For more information, please visit www.mailexaminers.com. Thank you for watching.